Like right, so this battle has been scattered out through several days. Um, it didn't take several days. It just my camera ended up dying. Then I went to use my phone, and then I snapped my board. Uh, if I can pull the the clip, uh, I put it in here. If not, um, it's on my Instagram and my TikTok. So I wanted to just come back and basically just show the landing. This is a trick that I've never been able to do. I think back when I skated all the time, I think I probably only ever landed three in probably about a three years time. I could inward heel flip, varial, and laser flip, but for some reason, uh, heel flip just wasn't my thing. Well, I say some reason. I actually, I know the reason now. The person who helped me with this big things is my buddy Austin, who I used to skate with all the time. Uh, periodically, he'll hop on and he'll do some stuff here and there. I don't know when he learned them because he, he never really used to do them. Not that I remember. He just started doing them one day while we were skating. I couldn't do it. It was always wanting to do an inward um, flip, so an inward heel flip, and the reason is, is this, I'll show you real quick. So if we're looking down, so I put my feet right here, a lot of times I would put it, my back foot about right here to try to get more pop, but right in, just in this general area, however you need it, I think if you scoot it back, maybe a little more pop, but that's just however you skate and then I still set my foot up the same the difference is is that when I was kicking for my heel flip I was kicking out like this way either straight out or a little bit at that angle right here and that's the way I had always done it and because I'm kicking out this way what it was doing was wanting the board to turn and do more of an inward heel flip motion which is why I had inward heel flips it's because that's the way I was trying to do heel flips so I figured you know if that's what it's gonna do that's what I'm gonna go ahead and learn how to do but what he told me was it's more it's essentially just a kick flip with your heel and I know some people still flick it off their toe um, I don't I use my heel but to go just straight out like you would a kickflip which sometimes I, I do mine a little bit off to the side and sometimes I'll do them a little straight forward I'll do a tutorial on the differences and this and that but instead of going out like this what I'm aiming for is about this part of the board right here and that's give that's keeping it under me and I um, just recently learning them I don't have all the control as you can see um, but I do have them um, at least stationary pretty consistently almost no warm-up when I get to the park I can at least throw one no matter whether it looks great or not it's still throwing so I think this is going to be a trick that I will have very well um, in the future with just a little bit of practice
the end of this and this is a win if you like this series please consider subscribing share the video this shows the process and the the uh, the work that it takes to put in to actually landing a trick um, if you don't skate this is uh, what you end up having to do building up to stuff um, working on it it doesn't just happen I know a lot of people who start skating they think that it's just gonna happen real quick and they'll be you know out there you know landing huge tricks doing amazing things and it just doesn't happen overnight it takes quite a while to build up the muscle memory build up the muscle and get the skill and the confidence so all right well stay tuned for the next battle um, don't know what the trick will be maybe it'll be the smith maybe I'll come back to that and um, actually get that I'm getting closer to him but you just have to stay tuned. All right, thanks.